Hello friends and welcome to BISVSolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you a simple but interesting example of mapping scripts. This is called conditional mapping. So if you are new to FDME, please watch my previous videos about FDME introduction and how to set up FDME. Today I am going to take you directly to my virtual machine and show you how do you apply conditional mapping scripts into FDME and based on the condition data would be loaded into your target application. So in today's example I am going to use a space as my target application and my source is going to be flat file. The script is continue to work uh, in maybe flat file or maybe your application like Oracle EBS or TripleSoft. So if you go by the formal definition of mapping scripts, mapping scripts are used to build mapping logic to the derived target member based on multiple sources and you apply if then else condition. You apply conditional expression over here and this conditional expression you define under data load mapping section. So I'll take you directly to this. Rather than explain you over the PPT, I'll show you directly live. So I log into my workspace and you can start your FDME from data management. And there you find the setup task. I already done it. And let me show you my data source file. This is my simple data source file. And this is my target queue. Right. For the sake of simplicity, I queue for keep only few records so this is my data source file I am going to load data for a single period for the period of for the month of January and I'm going to load data for sales and Cox by right? two majors and 120 are these are your products New York and Florida are your market and finally you're loading to a scenario called actual and these are your numbers if you look at this I want to apply a condition over here. I like to load only the data, only the positive value. I don't want to load the negative or zero value from my source. So, kind of condition or filter I like to apply using FDME mapping script. So, now you know the source file and you know target SPSQ. <coughs> I'm going to delete the existing data just to make sure we are going to load data completely from the beginning. For the sake of testing, I clear all data and I already connected to my S space using Smart View. So I clear all data, therefore, I don't have data over here. 1120 is basically sales, it's an alias, and 1121 is your cost of goods sold. So I'm going to load data to this intersection. Check it's January, I'll make it January rather than December. Sales and Cox. Product 110 and 120, which is cola and diet cola, is an alias. Uh, market is New York and Florida, and actual. And these are your number. The condition which I like to apply, I want to load only positive numbers. So conditional expression you can define under workflow, under uh, data load mapping. You see, for other members like market, my mapping is straightforward. Asterisk star star. All source value goes to all target. No transformation use. Same for other member, but for measure, I apply all source goes to target based on script. So I manually return a script over here. The moment you write hash script keyword, the script option enable automatically. This is going to be my simple script, which we are going to try. Okay, let's interpret the script. So you see we can define a script under data load mapping section. We added the script and put your script over here. The script is fairly simple. In this script I use Jython object with mapping script. I use a Jython string. So the name indicate get string. Get string function FD row ID used to access the column in the current row which is being processed. For account, I'm going to process the current row is being processed. I'm going to retrieve one by one all the row 
one by one from my account dimension similarly i like to read all accounts so get string function fdm root or get string read row by row for the respective account dimension member in this example it is account and amount respectively then i did a casting over here i use a float function and cast my amount and store back to my variable called amount and my condition fairly simple if it is negative less than zero if my amount is less than zero ignore it do not load so ignore is basically a keyword and fdm result equals ignore do not load data so if you look at your expression fdm result fdm result is used to return the value from the mapping function what a value returned from the mapping function you can store under fdm result right so if it is less than zero ignore it if it is greater than zero else condition is if it is not less than zero then only store account to my fdm result right so whatever account you retrieve it will check first if it is less than zero it won't load if it is greater than zero then only it is going to be loaded right so let's use the script and see how it works so i simply copy and paste the script over here and i click on ok press all the mapping i have already done it so i'm ready to process the data file i'm going to use it over here is called sample basic data load and this file i already uploaded in my source <coughs> i already uploaded from my source i'm sorry okay so this task is also done actually i'm ready to execute my script and ready to test my data but before that i clear all data from my sbs cube just to double check my i'm not going to overwrite existing data and cross check my smart view report the output is zero now it's empty there's nothing there's nothing available right now let's execute this script i executed few minutes before it ran successfully before i demonstrate so i click on execute i like to import from my source to my staging and staging to my target application and for whichever month you like to export this you can specify month name because a single period i can define only one period click on run it takes few minutes and to load this or rather one minute or two minutes around you continue to refresh it we refresh and once data load is done i'll check the output i also demonstrate you the log file and what are the intermediate staging tables are being used i'll demonstrate you data load is done successfully the first time you're supposed to do it check your data load workbench and make sure what records are loaded what records are ignored look at this the first record is ignored right row by row because it is less than zero second record loaded third loaded fourth loaded fifth record is also ignored zero records are ignored by the way automatically so first and four fifth record are ignored and ignore is basically a keyword so use a source and target major source product target product source market target market this is straightforward load once it is done i can refresh my smart view and make sure data which i loaded is done successfully or not so this is your data you can check the combination of it first row got failed it did not load which is this one second is january sorry i load for december cox this is 112 is a cost of goods sold product 110 uh, product 110 which is cola actual in new york this data gets loaded under my cost of goods sold right so once it is loaded you can actually validate in a smart smart view report as well you can also go one step further and look at a log file so i'm going to brief you the log file though we are going to log file in greater detail in subsequent session so click on this and focus only the important part of your log file so i'm going to look at how many rows are deleted and how many rows are added 
you see there are certain intermediate staging tables are used t data map seg number of records the old records are deleted new records are added okay. make sure the timestamp is correct it's 520 either three minutes before so number of records added number of records are deleted from your temporary table d data map t staging d t data sag and so on ultimately you see number of records are inserted the five rows are inserted in which out of five two of them are ignored right so i can see total number of rows available to exports are three number of rows inserted into your staging table five but actually only three of them are exported or loaded into a space the reason being this out of five only three records meet up the criteria the remaining two of them fail to meet up first so you see there are five records we don't consider zero out of five two records did not meet the criteria so they did not export into my s space but all five records are loaded into my staging table so this is a simple example of script you can write your question to us bispsolutions.com subscribe to my youtube channel and you would have access to 800 plus videos from different product so thanks for watching today's video stay tuned the next video is going to be available in next few days thank you